I would like to show you some tips and tricks for working with masks uh, in Starry Landscape Stacker, particularly in cases of uh, situations where it's difficult to get a good mask. So you may remember this uh, image from the uh, tutorial introduction to Starry Landscape Stacker. And this is an example of a pretty difficult situation with the trees. Uh, normally you probably wouldn't have trees this bad, but you might on occasion want to have a photograph where you have trees in it. And the problem is, as, as I zoom in here, is that you have stars that are visible through pieces of the tree. And that's going to be difficult to deal with. In some cases, there just isn't a good solution. So I've uh, added some red dots here in some areas. Oh, let's add another one over here. Although I'm afraid that might cause the, the tree to automatically get masked. But um, right here's an example of something that's very difficult. We're probably not going to be able to do a good job with uh, this star you can see behind the tree here. And similarly over here, uh, it's just too difficult to get a mask that separates that star from the tree. But we will hit Find Sky here and see what we come up with. And then we will look into how we can fix it. Oh, here we got pretty lucky. You can see how the mask has made uh, part of this track here for this uh, star uh, blue. It's, it's put it into the sky mask. Uh, we can make the uh, paintbrush really small and try and get the rest of that star into that, into the sky. Uh, similarly, we could probably get this guy with a very small mask and maybe this guy. You know, we can try and see what happens here, although I'm not very hopeful. Um, here we could have something that we could work with. So you can see how you could spend a lot of time painting every individual star, trying to make it perfect. And then they have the opposite problem is that you have to paint or unpaint um, all the little leafless branches up here. Okay, so I've, I hit G to switch to ground. It gives us the green cursor. And I've erased the mask from that bit of the tree. You can see how we have to just keep going and work our way around. We might be able to switch the sky with the S key, get that. And there's little thin tips of the tree here that are not or as part of the sky. You can see how you could spend an awful lot of time if you had to get this just right. Can be done, but it's very time consuming. We can go to a larger brush here. I don't see any stars up next to this little bit of the tree. And when that happens, when there's no stars right there, it's okay to include some sky uh, in the ground as long as there's no significant stars in it. Similarly, we can just get pretty crude here for a little bit. Have to be careful how we get really close to that star there. And we could just keep going and work our way around and fix everything. But we will stop there. Let's just zoom out, fix the uh, big errors here. This happens all the time. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. Starry Landscape Stacker will occasionally mitch miss patches in the sky for a variety of reasons. But they're quick and easy to deal with. And now we can say align and save and we can see how well it did. Okay, we'll cancel the save. Just zoom in first over here. And you can see this turned out quite well. That's looking okay over at the end of here. So it's worth it to, if the picture is really important to you, it's worth it to spend the time to try and clean up all these uh, small pieces of tree. And then it was, if I remember correctly, over here. Was it here that I was fixing the stars? Well, can't remember now. 
but generally actually that's not looking too bad around the tree. I'm looking in these areas here. And around here and the trees the stars around the tree came out fairly fairly good so you know, it can be done you just have to take your time and uh, choose what you want to be in the sky and what you want to be in the ground okay so that's this one and I'll show you another example this is an example of another type of image that might be difficult to develop a mask for uh, this is taken just after sunset and the sky is very bright and we have a bright horizon. There are some stars in here though that Starry Landscape Stacker can bring out, so it's important to include them in the mask. I want you to imagine for the moment though that uh, we have a, a, some bright foreground here, like maybe there's some uh, a town or a city in the foreground here and I have seen sample images like that from some customers so in that case what's going to happen is Starry Landscape Stacker is going to put a lot of red dots down here saying because it doesn't know the difference between a street light and a star so the first thing you're going to have to do when that happens is just get a big brush and erase all of the uh, all the red dots in the foreground that are marking you know whatever uh, lights in the uh, city or other um, whatever it is down there that matters. So the next step is switch to painting red dots, marking sky, and we're going to draw a line of red dots near the horizon. And remember the red dots are hints about where the sky is. Typically we, they are automatically placed on stars because stars are in the sky, but here we can say there might not be a star here, but this is still sky. And now we can say, find sky. And it's going to do a pretty good job of putting that mask right up to the horizon there. And now, there are so few uh, red dots in the sky as a whole that we don't get much there. So we're just going to draw quickly back and forth across it with a big paintbrush and mark it all as sky. Okay, and we're good. So that is how I would handle a uh, bright sky uh, or, and also uh, a, a foreground full of uh, lights, like a, a city down there in the valley. When we're done here, we'll be able to zoom in in this region where we didn't see any stars. And well, in this particular uh, example I've only loaded three of the frames so we might not be able to see it but in the final image there are stars there that you can see through that bright orange sky and you can only see them after Starry Landscape Stacker has done its thing and uh, reduced the noise so that we can bring out the faint stars. Okay, I'm going to cancel out of saving this, and we'll zoom in here. Well, there we are. There's a few faint stars, even though we're only working with three images. There's more that you can see through here. Oh, did I tell you this image is out of focus too? Make it even harder to align things. But still, you can see just barely. Oh, there's another star. So it does help to draw that mask manually when you have to and make sure that you get all of the sky included in it.